All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Steve here. This is opening weekend of the spring trout stocking 2024 here in New Jersey. And I'm not gonna waste any time. River's busy. Goal today is try to find a stretch of the river where we can get on some fish and uh, hopefully have a nice catch and cook. Let's get started and get fishing. All right, so this is not the easiest conditions for opening trout season here in New Jersey. We have gotten a ton of rain which means that the rivers are super high and super muddy so there's a bunch of spots that i want to try out but i'm trying to stick to the smaller rivers first because i feel like they're gonna get a little bit less water than the big rivers a little less flow i mean okay this is only the first spot that I wanted to fish. Just checking it out. It looks good, but the hole where I catch a bunch of fish, there's already a bunch of guys in there. I mean, it is what it is. Opening weekend, it gets busy out here. So we're just gonna keep on fishing. Yeah, this water is so high. Maybe because the water's so murky, but where? Usually I can spot them and kind of sight fish them a little bit. There we go. Tiny trout. First one of the year. Tiny, tiny trout. You gotta look for some bigger ones. These little guys. I'm just gonna set them back. Instantly. It's the third one out of that hole. Come on, buddy. That's better size. Right, we'll let this one guy go. He's right on the cusp. Looking for one just a little bit bigger. Let him go.
this one. Right, this one's coming back. Okay, so that's our fourth fish. Drifting the nymph. So I realized while I was editing this video that I never showed the flies that I caught these trout on. So I figured I'd show them real quick. Got the box out here and all the trout were pretty much caught on size 14 pheasant tails. The only difference is that one right there is a flashback and both are size 14 bead head. And uh, yeah, hope that helps. First one I kept today. Just kind of casting it upstream and drifting it down. No indicator, no nothing. It was coming right at me. All right, now we got two on the stringer. Gonna keep on fishing. This is shaping up to be just a little quick and easy catch and cook. So I spent a little bit of the morning at the river and the water was high. I was lucky enough to go into that one spot where it wasn't too bad. And I probably caught, I think five or six trout out of that hole. And then I kept three of them, cleaned them at the river. And now I'm just meeting my family this afternoon. They're having burgers and stuff like that, I figure I'll just throw the trout on the grill and we'll have it right now. Uh, right at all. Fresh from the garden. I do take another video. Wow, these are nice chives. I didn't know they were in season out there right now. Wow, that is a lot of fresh chives. We're gonna take our troutos. That was sprayed real good. On 
the vine. Throw a few little lemons up. Everybody's eating burgers and stuff, but I don't know. we got some nice trout. Oh, look at that! Little oh, taste wow. for everybody. Oh, huh. am I making fun of you? Yeah, a little bit. I'll show Maybe you a, a little picture bit. Of you might have salted that, them a little that, bit there. Uh, they were so good. <laughs> like you, they have, you know, the the classic. I don't have a beer. Look, a boyer mango wheat. Well, watch out for bone. I don't move. Oh wow! <laughs> oh whatever. <laughs> That's really good. That has a really good flavor. Like, it's not bad. That packs a punch. I was not expecting that. A little crispy skin. Wow. Good job. So let me try. I'm gonna put. Is this lemon or? That's a lime. I'm gonna put this citrus on it. Yep. That real some lime. variety. <laughs> and see what happens. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Is it good? Fresh caught hours it feels, ago. It feels like clean. Are you supposed you know to I mean? eat the skin or no? Yeah. Delicious. Mm. Wow. <laughs> what? That's pretty good. I didn't even have to dip it in anything. Wow. Yeah. That's a fresh trap. I tell you, the grill is nice for this fish. Yeah, I don't know what you put on that, but it's got a lot of flavor. Skin, skin's flavorful. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Hey Gab, good thing that you didn't have it. Driving. All right, thank you everyone for coming along on that one. I know it was a quick trip, quick catch and cook, but it is only the beginning of the season. Plenty of trout to hopefully be caught. And we got striped bass, which is getting hot right now, fluke right around the corner. So it's right about that time where there's a lot of opportunities to catch fish on the Jersey Shore. So as always, if you're new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything new. And until we catch or cook something else, I'll see you next time on The Line Cook. Take care, everyone.